Okay, so today I'm actually want to take a look at something that I think is pretty cool. And so this is Manjaro Arm, but if you're asking what desktop environment this is, this is Manjaro Arm Mate. And before for the Raspberry Pi 4, there was only Manjaro Arm KDE Plasma and Manjaro Arm XFCE. But just today actually, I was just looking for something to make a video about, and I happened to see that this was released for the Raspberry Pi 4. So I downloaded it and installed it, and I have like literally not looked at anything, so this is going to be my first impression and just my thoughts about it and some different stuff about it. So to get started, let me just show you guys where you can download it from. So let me just go over to Manjaro's website and show you guys. Okay, so here it is. This will be linked in the description. All you have to do to get this set up is you download the Raspberry Pi 4 Mate image, flash it to an SD card, and boot it up, and you're ready to go. So what you see, if you go to ARM and then go to Raspberry Pi 4, there used to not be this Mate, so I was kind of surprised to see that. I don't think there was minimal either. So I'm also going to be testing out that later and seeing other desktop environments that I could install in here and see what it's like. And if it works out well, I'll make a video about that too. Yeah, but so as you might know, Mate is actually a pretty lightweight desktop environment. It's not the most lightweight, but it is one of the most. So it should work better than KDE, but honestly, KDE works really well in the Pi for the, when you consider that this is a Pi and it has an ARM chip, a low-end chip. Yeah, so now let's just go over the looks of this operating system and see how it is so we have this background picture right here which is the default on manjar arm let's see if we could change that one and see what there is so there's like a, a thing like that i think i'll just stick with the default one maybe get one later and this you can change your desktops basically and that is for wi-fi i guess and so here, this is for your desktops too, and these are the default applications that come on here. So like this is terminal, and it's just a default. Manager is based off Arch, so you use Pac-Man instead of apt. And we have our file manager here, which looks pretty well. But if you do use this, you might want to go in here and theme some stuff and change the look of it. Because that was probably what I would do to make this thing feel a lot better. Then we have this screenshot app that comes on here, which is pretty useful. Like you go current window, you can go take screenshot and click on that. And it would just take a picture of that one terminal window, which is pretty nice. And you can save it or you don't have to save it, whatever you want. Yeah. And we have Firefox, which comes on every Linux distro. And we have these little bars right here. It kind of looks like a global menu on a Mac, but it actually isn't. Applications, go ahead and opens up all your apps here. We'll take a look in a minute places you can open up these things real fast your home folder your network blah blah stuff like that system preferences you can open up some different preferences administration we have a software center here we'll also take a look at that control center about mate so this will tell us about our mate desktop environment and what it is so it's mate 1.24.1 and yeah it looks pretty cool So, if we go over here to System and Control Panel, Control Center, I mean, it's actually really nice. You have all of your settings in here from the same menu, so you can, like, easily open up one and change it from here. You can just see all your settings from here, like Quantum. This is a kind of theming app where you can download Quantum themes from the internet, and all you have to do, if you clicked on that, you would select the Quantum theme folder, and you would install it and then change it. So it's a really easy tool to change your system themes and do different stuff like that. Appearance, mate tweaks. So we have actually a lot of stuff here. And definitely worth checking this out and see how it goes. I'm probably going to be going through this and theming it and see what I can make this thing look like. So now, now to go over to applications. Accessories. We have Quantum, like I was saying, just some normal stuff. Mate search tool is something that looks pretty cool actually. You can just search for your files easily in here. You just search the name and it should find it for you. So pretty darn useful. Education, LibreOffice Math. 
graphics, LibreOffice Draw, and some Make Color Selection. You could install GIMP and some other stuff like that. Internet Firefox, but if you're like me, you're, you might want Chromium. I'll show you how you can do that right away. So these are just some other LibreOffice stuff, which comes on every Linux distro. Other, not really sure what that is actually. Sound and video. We have some video players, audio players, just some useful software. System tools. Here is like a CPU manager, different stuff like that. Terminal, file manager. Yeah, so it looks pretty cool. So now let's go over to terminal and see what we can do here. So if I was to want to install NeoFetch, just see what it says about my system. sudo pacman s neo fetch you hit enter type in your password that you created when you were installing this operating system hit enter and do an install yes I do so yeah if you if you're a um, Ubuntu Debian user don't be scared of arch it's actually really not that hard and once I started using Arch, I actually really loved it. I don't know. It just seems so nice and easy to use. I thought it was hard because I got used to apt. And I thought Pac-Man would be really hard to get used to. But it's actually not. So I would recommend definitely trying out an Arch Linux distro. And you might actually really love it. Like I did. So now NeoFetch is installed. So let's just launch NeoFetch and see what it has. Ooh. So we have our nice Manjaro logo here. It's a 64-bit operating system. This is my Raspberry Pi model. It's been up for 13 minutes. Pac-Man. These are the themes. Yeah. So we can see some useful information about our system here. So now, one more thing to fix. I am not a Firefox fan. I'm a Chromium fan. So, sudo pacman dash s chromium. Let's just fix that, and then we should be good, actually. Proceed with installation. Yes, I do. And after that's done, some other software that I want, I might want to install would probably be Discord, Gparted, and then I would probably later check out installing some games and stuff like that, emulators. But yeah. So while that's installing, let's go ahead and take a look at that software center so if you go over here administration add or remove software so this is the same software center that's in every manjaro distro called pamac that's the real name but here they call it add or remove software so if you don't know the command line to install it it's actually really easy just to go in here search for the software you want and install it like blender cura gimp vlc telegram desktop retroarch so for emulation, yeah, I mean, it's actually really nice to have this awesome software center. So this is an, yeah, so if you wanted something in here, you could just search it like Chromium. Like I didn't have to install that from the command line. I could have done it straight from here with one click of the button. And you can do all your updates here. So like I just installed this. So there are a lot of updates I need to do. I'll be doing that later. I don't want to do that right now, but yeah. So now let's go ahead and open up Chromium and see some YouTube performance. So it it I it should be really good because so far you see this OS is running so flawlessly. Like this could be as good as Raspberry Pi OS. Just the only one difference between this and Raspberry Pi OS would be that more people use Raspberry Pi OS, so more software is adapted to it. That is the only problem. Oh, Looks like my internet's went out for a second. Let me go ahead and check that out. Okay, so I fixed that issue real fast. And here we are in YouTube. So we could just go ahead and make that full screen. And we could play whatever, really. But let's just go to Big Fuck Honey. And let's try some high settings videos and see how that goes. So let me make that bigger. And let's see the resolution. So it's at 480 right now. If I was to take that up to... Let's just go with 1080 right now. So it could start struggling more. Which would be acceptable because 720 is the 
better on the Pi, honestly. I'm not even going to go up to 4K and that stuff because it's just not worth it. I mean, you see, it just does this loading stuff. But yeah, it's honestly not terrible. Definitely watchable, I mean. And I think it's doing those loading things because my internet connection right now is bad. Because of the place I am, it does not have very good internet connection. But if I was to lower that a little bit, just 720. Oh my. Okay, so I switched it over to 720. And yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's better, obviously. Not as many stutters, nice and smooth. Yeah, so 720 is probably to go to. But if you have a good internet connection, 1080 pr might be watchable. I mean, it, it is, I bet. So now if we were to go over and look at some web browsing, I mean, it's looking pretty snappy to me. So just, if I was to search Amazon, it loads right up. Click on this. I don't know. Just Chromium always feels more snappy to me. May just better than Firefox on the Pi. You just seem to get better performance. Because you can just go, open up stuff, click on it. And it just works so well. Oh my goodness, my internet connection is bad today. Okay, so I'm back here. And I mean, yeah, it just works so well. You can just load up stuff. You can Google search anything, have a lot of tabs open, and you should be good with Chromium on Manjaro. Yeah, so I mean, this this is good, really good. And if you wanted to add this to the top bar, all you have to do, right-click right here, add to panel, go to application launcher, click add. You would go to internet, add, oh, that's not what I want. Chromium add close so I added this extra one right here which I don't really need so remove from panel and I could just drag that over right here I think and there we go so I'm just gonna go ahead and set that as default browser and yeah I mean it's pretty nice setup it it looks pretty nice and clean in my opinion like the if I was going to use this as a daily operating system, which I might, I have not decided if I'm going to switch over from Raspberry Pi OS yet, but I will be doing some theming over here and see what I can get. But I wouldn't I would need Gparted, of course. Because I use that a lot to edit all my stuff and just So, one more thing, if you do want a Raspberry Pi Imager for Manjar ARM, head over to my Discord server, which is going to be linked right below in the description, and from there, you'll be able to grab Raspberry Pi Imager, Minecraft, and some other stuff. So, if you don't, if you can't find that on my Discord server, all you have to do is ask in the server, and me and my moderators will try to help you as fast as we can. So here's Gparted, and you have to type in your password. And yeah, I mean, so this video was just kind of overview of this operating system that was new to me and new to everyone because it just came out. But I hope you, this video is interesting for you guys, and I hope you do try this out because I promise you, you will definitely like it. Like, try any version of Manjaro, not only make KDE, even though it's heavier, it's definitely one of my favorites for the Pi. It just it looks so pretty, works so well, and is amazing. So, if this video was helpful for you guys, please hit that like button. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe.